And with all the things that Mike Wayne has been tweeting out, if you guys do not have a Twitter or do not follow Mike Wayne, you are truly, truly missing out. All the things that Mike Wayne has been tweeting about, about the new game of NBA 2K23 has led me to come to this conclusion right here that the new meta going into 2K23 will be small guards taking over the game again just like how it was in the beginning of nba 2k 22 small guards everybody was making 5 10 play shots everybody wanted to left right left right left right they added the adrenaline boost to try to eliminate the left right i get that but i still feel like the small guards are going to be the wave for nba 2k 23 and this is exactly why so if you didn't know, now you know a lot of things like jump shot animations, dunk animations, and dribble animations as well. This year we'll have a attribute requirement. Mike Wayne posted this poll on Twitter. You guys want some signature dribble packages like Curry's to have higher ball handle requirements? 72% of the community voted yes. 28% voted no. So with that 72% of the community voting yes, this is what the community wanted, apparently. And Mike Wayne followed up and said, the people have spoken. Amending this tweet, going to push some SIGs up to 90 plus. He also said, dribble SIG requirements are very similar to last year. I still recommend you putting your ball handle rating up to 86 if you want everything. And then he ended with this tweet. He really dropped the bomb on this one. The highest ball handle requirement will be 92 for curry and trey six that's talking about like the curry slide or the trey any a uh, trey young signature size up or whatever some other players were pulled up to 90 also dame Kyrie, and others so if you want to run around and do the curry slide you have to have a 92 ball handle if you want trey young six or a lot of these other good point guards that have really good signature animations you got to have at least a dang on 92 92 or 90 and who is going to be able to have a 92 or a 90 ball handle small guards come on people wake up small guards small guards that's the first thing that's the main thing the dribbling another thing dunk requirements have also changed for 23 for certain dunk packages like the quick drops off of one i believe a lot of people complained about the play shots doing all the quick drops and there was like some unblockable dunks and stuff like that so mike wayne said this quick drops off one have a higher dunk requirement this year 80 driving dunk and a 60 vertical to be able to get the quick drops off one dunk requirements for nba 2k 23 since some have ags vertical requirements are new gen only now that's weird to me that the vertical requirements are only for the next gen consoles like are you trying to say that old gen doesn't have to worry about vertical or are their vertical stats different or what what is what's the thing with that i'm not sure but that's the little chart right there and another huge thing that's going to make a difference for 23 with these requirements is the signature jump shots, y'all. Signature jumpers have attributes and rating requirements in NBA 2K23. Make sure you check out the available jumpers with the test build feature to make sure you can get the shot that you want before locking in your build. Now, for all the small guards, smalls category is anything under 6'5", swings 6'5 to 6'9", and bigs are 6'10". Plus, so this is the jump shot chart. Look at the highest jump shot rating you have to have. You have to have a 96 jump shot rating that's either a mid range or a three point to unlock Steph Curry. To get Steph Curry or Kyrie's jump shot, you have to have a 96 mid range or three point, and it says smalls only for bigs. And swings, if you want Larry Bird, you have to have a 93 jump shot. For Trey Young, you have to have a 92 jump shot. And the list goes on and on and on. That right there is a game changer. If I was you guys, I would, if you use any of these jump shots, or if you were even considering using these jump shots, 
I will find this list, screenshot it, download it, whatever you got to do. And you just take you some notes and just keep all that stuff in the back of your mind. Because that's crazy. That is crazy. To get certain jump shot animations in, that still counts for when you're creating jump shots too. This stuff counts in the, a jump shot creator too, y'all. You are going, you can't get certain jump shot animations unless you have these ratings. Unless you meet these requirements. That's a game changer right there. So it's a lot of things you got to think about when creating your builds in NBA 2K23, y'all. A lot of things. Y'all be careful. But all of that right there, all of those requirements is why I honestly feel like small guards are going to take over 23 again. Because small guards have the advantage. Who's going to be able to get a 96 three-point rating? Small guards. Any guard between 5'10 to like 5'10, 6'3, 5'10 to 6'4. Who's going to be able to get all the dreamer animations? That 92 ball handle, 5'10 to 6'3. They still want to get the quick drops. I'm pretty sure they'll find a way to still be able to get the vertical in that 80 dunk if they want it. They're still going to be an advantage for the 5'10 and the 6'3 guards. They will be able to get all of the animations, all of the jump shots. Those are the bills that's going to meet all of those requirements. But that is pretty much it for this video. That's all I have to say. That's totally my opinion. That was how I was able to come up with my conclusion, my decision that the small guards are still going to be going crazy in 2K23. They get all of the animations. They can get all of the dripping moves that everybody can get. It's not available to everybody. It's only available to certain builds that can meet those requirements. And I feel like the small guards are going to be able to meet, meet those requirements. Somebody's going to test it out. Somebody's going to figure this thing out. But let me know down in the comments section, what do you guys think of the My Player Builder? What do you think the new meta will be in NBA 2K23? Or is there going to be a meta at all? Make sure you like the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new.